おかえりおまいごなんでここに先生が This is so wrong Would you f a k a 500 year old elf or a 50 year old gilf? Human gilf? Yes, human gilf Of course, I'd choose the What's up there, lovely people of the internet? I am your sugar senpai, Evanito, and welcome back to another very exciting video. Now, I know it's been a while since I last uploaded, and that's because I've been preparing to go to Japan. So I've had a lot of work to do, and in that time, I started to feel really lonely again. And as you guys might already know, I really only have three moods. Sad, lonely, terrified, and broke. Yes, I know that was four. I can't count. So to help quell the problem, I decided to once again get on Fiverr and hire me an e-girl. Now, this time around, I really just wanted someone to watch anime with me because, uh, yeah, I just, I just, I, I don't have anyone to watch anime with me. But before we get into that you guys can definitely watch anime with me by joining my discord link is down in the description down below also in the pinned comment or right here on screen that aside before we actually do jump into this video this video is brought to you with the help of the lovely folks over at otaku box if you guys like anime merchandise like figurines t-shirts keychains bunch of other cool stuff make sure to stick around until the end of the video so i can tell you how you can get your hands on one of these lovely lovely otaku boxes or if you're just that impatient the link and the coupon code will be down in the description down below now as i was saying i ended up going on fiverr and i got myself an e girl so clearly i haven't gotten better i've only gotten a lot worse and thankfully i ended up stumbling across star child's guild who said that she would watch anime with you e-girl style and obviously with my love of anime and my obsession with e-girls i decided to pay for her service and we ended up watching interspecies reviewers and nande koko ni sensei ga and um here's what happened so the most interesting parts of your fiverr gig right were the voice acting and the cosplay photos now you said you've never voice acted before right never ever never ever let's go ahead and change that right now first we're gonna start by dubbing a scene from interspecies reviewers now you've gone ahead and you selected the scene for us right um i'm gonna play can i have another shot uh you want you want to try a different scene no like can i have another like oh duh, please please take an <laughs> like shot before we dub the scene <laughs> So that's the scene that we're gonna be dubbing. Are you excited? This is this is your first voice acting gig ever. You know, this is a world ever. a world exclusive, and your first voice acting gig is that you're gonna be dubbing a scene from interspecies reviewers. Um, I'm so honored and so happy to be here. You know, here. to be fair, I too will dub this with you. You will be dubbing the lolly i will be dubbing the wolf girl and um would it be more interesting if you did the little girl do you want me to do the little girl yes i you know what i i fine i will i will do the little girl i will whoa that's yes. whoa whoa that sounds wrong let's just do it i haven't drank anything so um it's gonna be interesting i'm going to devour you down to the morrow but senpai you you, you can't talking <laughs> back you naughty girl uh, you lied to me senpai you're the naughty one <laughs> <laughs> oh this was way less traumatizing <laughs> i am permanently scarred after that i don't even want to talk about that let's just move on the other service attached to your fiber gig right was the fact that you said that uh you would uh take a, a picture in cosplay right now um We've discussed uh, earlier. You said you really enjoyed JoJo's. Let, let's uh, talk about uh, you doing the Dio pose uh, while drinking. So, like, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what inspired the JoJo pose and the cat ears? So, like, mm -hmm. basically, I was trying to do the meme poses slash cosplay. So I'm like, okay, I have beer, I have cat ears, I have a maid outfit. <laughs> the perfect combination. Go wrong? <laughs> like, wow, I I would have never thought of that. That's like big brain. Here's the interesting part about your Fiverr gig is the images yeah. that you clickbait with. Now, I mean, in a sense, they're click not clickbait. Like, they're not really clickbait because they are pictures of you, but they are uh, very unique uh, pictures of you. They're and just candid pictures. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So what? Mm -hmm. So uh, what? What? What inspired these photos? Like. I was just sitting down, I'm like, I'm bored. I should just take a picture. And it happened. I get like huge e-girl vibes from this. Is that what you're going for? E-girl, I'm definitely not. You're not an e-girl, really? I will play <laughs> games and watch anime with you e-girl e -girl style. E-girl style. Are you, how I'm are you not an e-girl? I'm pretending to be an e-girl. Oh my, what is up? Every single time I'm on Fiverr and I hire an e-girl, they say they're not an e-girl. I'm being catfished <laughs> on Fiverr. I mean, we're just self-aware. You can't say 
your gig that you're an e-girl and then say and call that you're not an e-girl. I feel like I'm being lied to. Like, I no, mean, no. the e-girl tag is just a clickbait. <laughs> so you admit to clickbaiting me. All right, you know what? I've already given I'm you my money. It's too late. I'm thinking I'm an e-girl when I'm not. Philosophical discussion, like what qualifies as an e-girl? So your next Fiverr picture, right? You know, mm -hmm. there, there was one interesting aspect about it that I really, really wanted to talk to you about, right? Is that a bullet hole behind you? Bullet hole? It looks like there's like someone shot the wall with like a bullet and it like bounced off, right? Now, are you in trouble? Are you okay? Please save me. <laughs> what? Save you? This is a cry for help. Now, we had a brief discussion earlier too about uh, keyhole sweaters, right? Please so tell us about your keyhole sweater Look, addiction. okay. I addiction. I'm your therapist. It all started uh, when I first yeah. saw Hestia. Uh, she was wearing a virgin killer sweater. Or, I mean, her outfit looks like a virgin killer sweater. And I thought, wow, this that is, is a such a wonderful design. I wonder what it would look like if the opening was at the front instead of the back. And thus, the keyhole sweater was born. The keyhole sweater. In your last image on Fiverr, I thought that you were doing an Ahegawa face, or I still think that you're doing an Ahegawa face in that picture. Listen, there's a difference between just sticking your tongue out and making an Ahegawa face. But what's the difference, right? Like, it looks like an Ahegawa face to me. Like, when you're doing an Ahegawa face, your eyes are cross-eyed and they're looking up. I would argue in this picture, your eyes are kind of cross-eyed. However, they're not looking up. They're looking at your phone, right? When I think of the typical e-girl, which I do this a lot. This is exactly what you picture. This is exactly, this this image is literally exactly what I picture. It's not even just a face, right? It's the, it's everything in the photo, right? Like you're holding your hair out, wearing a shirt that says angel. Don't ask me how I was able to read that backwards. Please don't ask it. I have a problem. Oh, did you like put I, a mirror in no. front of your camera? <laughs> no, I'm not a weirdo, I swear. Am I your first Fiverr gig or have you had like people before me? You're like my fifth. Ooh, do you, okay. Do, do you like, can we talk a little bit more about like some of the people you've had on Fiverr? Like, have you had any like weird ones or like any interesting ones? There's one that messaged me and apparently he's a notorious one. There's a guy who wants to pay girls so that he can talk about the fact that he has a crush on his sister. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yes. Would you get paid for that? Like, would you accept payment? I mean, I'll take money for anything, but like... But like, would you pretend to be his sister? Wait, so, okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. back <laughs> up a bit. I'm sorry. He pays Fiverr girls, people like you, yes. to pretend to be his sister that he has a crush on. Yes. What the f***? Would you f*** a 500-year-old elf or a 50-year-old gilf? Human gilf? Yes, human gilf. Of course. I'd choose the 500 year old elf. But, but why though? Why would you not? Because, Cause, okay. Cause see, they look so good. They look so young and good. But they're 500 years old. Imagine the smell, right? Like when a person no. is like, look, old people have certain scents, right? Okay, just say you're into grandmas and go. No, I'm not into grandmas. I'm just saying, I mean, yeah, when, you, when I have to compare the two, right? This, this is gross. This is absolutely gross. Not into this at all. Think about Oshino Shinobu from Monogatari series. She's a vampire, but she's 500 years old. Now think about her in her adult form, please. I wouldn't. I just I just wouldn't. I mean, she's she's nowhere near as attractive as a uh, as a 50-year-old gilf. Just saying. Have you ever seen the anime Nande Koko ni Sensei ga? Oh, I remember when I was like searching mm -hmm. for a new anime, like I stumbled like upon this, but I have no idea what it's about. Well, that's perfect because we're going to watch an episode. Is it it cannot be worse than what we seen before. <laughs> it's like he's in middle school. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so wrong. How is this wrong? Because it's a teacher. What? What is happening? She is so good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All that stuff I said about this being okay, I take it back. One last thing, Stella. Can you do a uwu? And that's it. If you guys wanted to go ahead and find Star Child over on Fiverr, her link is down in the description down below. Please make sure you go ahead and say that the Weep Taku Overlord sent you. Also, if you guys just wanted to talk to her, she's now in my Discord. So, I mean, hey, uh, join my Discord if you want to talk to an e-girl or, or me but anyway a massive shout out to otaku box for helping me bring this video to you guys now like i said at the beginning of this video there is a way you can get one of these boxes and it is to use the link down in the description down below and use the coupon code 
Evanito at checkout because that'll get you a nice discount. And if you guys don't like discounts, then I, I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, let's see what Otaku Box sent me this time. In fact, actually the shirt I'm wearing is from the box. Personally, I really like this shirt. I wish it wasn't so thin because it's like cold outside right now. But other than that, really love the design. Let's look at the other stuff in the box. Ooh. Okay, so there's a nice little bottle opener. I don't drink, but honestly, this definitely looks really cool. I feel like if I showed up to any party with this, I would instantly be the coolest person in the room or the lamest. Okay, holy crap. These these are fairy tale gloves. I really, really love fairy tale. Holy crap. I am putting, I am literally putting this on right now. As per usual in the otaku boxes, this one has a wall scroll and it's the same design of the shirt that I am currently wearing. Hopefully you guys can see that. I swear at this point, I might as well get me one of those, what are they called, tote bags? Because like in this otaku box or in every otaku box, they always send pins and I literally have nowhere to put this pin. They always also send stickers it seems. And I really, really like stickers, right? Like I've been putting these on my car, somewhere at the side of my computer, but like I genuinely like stickers and uh, this one is of Raftalia. And last but not least, and hopefully this time it doesn't get my video demonetized, is the figure from the box. And this is Otaku Box's big selling point, right? It's the fact that the figures are etchy figures. This one in this box is specifically of Rias Grimmery from High School DxD. And if you guys know anything about me, I do love me a good succubus waifu but also i genuinely love rias but it's genuinely such a nice figure and otaku box always produces some really nice figures and if you guys wanted to go ahead and grab you one of these boxes use the link in the description down below and use my coupon code evanito to get a discount and now while i am still broke i'm at least a little less broke thanks to my lovely people on patreon i've seen i've read you guys' comments you want me to continue working on the next abridged series which is what i am currently doing that just happens to take a lot of time and the people that allow me to take that time are the following and there's a lot of you now so i'm going to be reading your names off my computer screen and i'm sorry because i can't memorize all these names but thank you to anthony tz alexis mosey louise steelers tristan sanders Callista, shelly xx3 lettuce eating walrus cyber ninja 005 and sage bentley thank you to the rest of my beautiful patrons and like i said earlier if you guys wanted to go ahead and help me feel a little less sad lonely terrified and broke follow me on twitter instagram and subscribe to me here on youtube join my discord server so you can go ahead and talk to me if you're feeling up for it donate money to my patreon and above all else have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day wish me luck on my trip to japan and um i'll see you guys next time which is hopefully sooner rather than later it depends on how busy i get again but hopefully it's not another two weeks because i try to upload weekly bye